So today we shall be doing test of point integration that we want to do today and uh, we have the four variables x1, x2, x3 and y and we have the time series data from 1990 to 2055 so 16 years data we have. Now I am opening all the variables one by one. I am opening all open as a group. So the data has opened. You can see from here. So y, x1, x2, x3. And data start from 1990 until 2005. 16 years data. Now, I am to check whether y, x1, x2, x3, these three, four variables are co-integrated or not. Or whether these four variables have long-run association shape or not. That also I am to check. Whether the variables are co-integrated or whether they have long-run association shape. So actually, the, actually both are same meaning. The, the co-integrated and long-run association shape both are same meaning. That we want to check using Johansen co-integration test. You can see Johansen co-integration test. How to check it? I go to quick. I go to group statistics. Then I choose the Johansen test of co-integration. I click on it. Here I put our four variables y, x1, x2 and x3. So here I have four variables. And make sure all the variables should be at level. That means first difference or second difference, uh, uh, second difference should not be there. The data must be at level. That means original data. So I put all the level data here and I press OK. You see there are six options right out of six option I choose number three because I believe that the data has a trend our variable has a trend that is why I have chosen number three and the lag uh, it is already lag one so I, I, I keep it I keep it as it uh, uh, as it is here one lag of this model okay then what is the result you see Johansen co-integration test and it is the outcome of the Johansen test of co-integrations and here are the four variables and lag is only one okay so far there are two tests one is test statistics Another one is max eigen statistics. So we shall be checking both. First, I check this this one, test statistics, right? Okay, here what is the null hypothesis? It is the null hypothesis. Number of co-integrated equation. None. None means there is no co-integrated co equation. Or there is no co-integration among the four variables that is the null and how to reject this null you see the probability value or p value it is here so what is the p value 0.02 percent meaning that less than five percent what is the guideline? The guideline is 
when the p-value is less than 5%, we reject the null hypothesis. But when the p-value is more than 5%, we cannot reject null hypothesis. Rather, we accept null hypothesis. That is the guideline all the time. It is the golden rule for all the time. Normally, it is the golden rule. Okay, here the none, we can reject null. We can reject the null hypothesis. What is null? There is no point degradation. We can reject this, this uh, statement. Okay, what about the second null hypothesis? What is second? At most one. That means there is at least one co-integrated equation. Or, yeah, that is the null hypothesis. Can I reject it? I go to p-value. What is the p-value? 6.26%, which is more than 5%. So we cannot reject null hypothesis, meaning that there is at most one co-integrated equation. What does it mean? It means that there is co-integration among the four variables, right? Or these four variables have long-run association shape meaning that in the long run they move together all these four variables move together and you can see the result also rest statistics indicates one co-integrated equations that means it comes from here okay so what about the second uh, test max eigen statistics as before number of co-integrated equation none meaning that there is no co-integration that is the null hypothesis can i reject it yes because the probability is less than five percent so we can reject this null hypothesis okay then we come here can I reject this hypothesis that there is there is uh, one co-integrated equation? What is the p-value? 32.79 percent, which is more than five percent. We cannot reject null, meaning that we accept null, meaning that there is one co-integrated equation or 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 all the four variables are co-integrated or in the long run they have uh, they have association shape or it also means that y x1 x2 x3 all the four variables move together and you know there is also the uh, there is the uh, outcome of this result max eigenvalue test indicates one co-integrated equations at five percent level okay here what normally we do here we cannot reject null right so 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 and we shall not proceed further that means uh, we shall not check this and this we don't need to check this and this because at here we have already got the decision so we shall not check this or this also here the same story at most one we could not reject null so we have already got the decision so we should not check this one and we should not check this one because we have already got the decision that there is one co-integrated equations 
that means all the four variables move together in the long run okay so what is our decision this uh, this statistics according to, according to the press statistics all the four variables are co-integrated and according to max size and statistics also the same thing all the four variables are co-integrated meaning that this test this and this or both tests are telling the same story that variables are co-integrated so what is the guideline guideline is that when the variables are co-integrated then we can run the vector error correction model I, 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 I'm, I'm telling again when the variables are found co-integrated then we can run the vector error correction model and that we shall be doing later not right now maybe uh, in the next video uh, we shall be doing it thank you very much for being here